Um, was it four days after you came to England? Was it, that was when you had that memory, wasn't it? And um, if you can picture that Mary's coming to England because, by the way, in between, uh, I should sort of explain for those that have never heard this before, um, Mary was very angry with me at the beginning. Uh, then I went away overseas, and then uh, somebody else told her that I felt that she was my soulmate. And uh, by the way, I also felt that I'd never see her for quite a few years yet to come, <laughs> uh, because of how much there was that angry there, anger there, and how many other emotions that were there. So I didn't feel that there was any point in even saying to Mary, "I feel you're my soulmate." At that point. But then what happened was she was told by other people that, she, that I felt she was my soulmate. And so she then sent me an email saying, asking the details about that, which was almost an angry email too, wasn't it, in a way. And then um, a, a few months after uh, we sort of start developing a relationship, um, because we start talking, we start getting along pretty well, Things develop after that. We haven't we haven't been with each other yet. We've just still been talking over the phone um, from overseas, and uh, and uh, you know writing emails to each other on the phone, talking to each other quite a lot. And uh, and then eventually Mary decides she's going to join me on the trip overseas, and just to see what this is all about. And four days. Sort in, you out basically. Yeah. Sort <laughs> <of>. <laughs> yeah. Things, the thing she felt was that she wanted to show me that I wasn't Jesus, and pretty much, yeah. I wanted to show you I wasn't your soulmate. And you weren't my soulmate, yeah. But uh, by this stage we were starting to get along pretty well. But four days into arriving overseas, um, she has this huge emotional memory, experience. So uh, four days after meeting, for a day we didn't speak. Right, to each other because there was just so much anger and so Mary has a lot of anger which is like your childhood anger about me specifically about me and what I did in the first century and how she felt about that through the filters of her parents this time around and, uh, and so Mary's had a lot of experience in dealing with these same emotions that you will be working through and working through your anger based emotions and so she knows what it's like to go through what you're going through. That, that'd be accurate to say, I reckon. <laughs> because it, it's just the amount, the amount of um, the amount of anger we are in generally covers over the depth of the grief we feel. So if we are in a big rage, that demonstrates how big the sadness is underneath. Does that make sense? And it's the rage that's covering over the sadness. So if you can allow yourself to start seeing that actually there is a big area here to work your way through, and it's very important.